Hello and welcome to the continuation of the bubble sleeve tutorial. In this tutorial I am showing you step by step how to crochet the bodice of this cute cardigan. The written pattern is available in my website, link in the description box and the tutorial is in size S. The video tutorial for the sleeves, you can find it linked at the right top of this video and also on the description box. I am working with Simply Chunky from Paintbox Yarns, which is 100% acrylic and a 7mm hook. I started with a slip stitch and then 60 chains. So once I was done, I left the first chain and I inserted the hook at the second chain from the hook. And crocheted a slip stitch. Continue crocheting slip stitch on the next chain and then on with the slip stitch until you have 12 slip stitches in total. This is how your work it is going to look like. Then at the 13th chain we change to closed half double crochet which will give you the effect of the knitted ribbing. To crochet a closed half double crochet yarn over, insert the hook and pull up a loop. Once you have three loops on your hook secure the first two loops with your two fingers and pull the last loop through the other two loops. Then continue the same on the next chain, yarn over, insert the hook and pull up a third loop, then pull the last loop through the two loops. Continue to the end of the chain base. In total you will have 12 slip stitches and 47 closed half double crochet stitches since one chain stitch we used for the turning. Once you finish the last closed half double crochet your work it is going to look like this. So you are going to have 12 slip stitches and then 47 ha closed half double crochet stitches. Now on to row 2. One chain and turn your work. Skip the first chain and we will work in back loop now. At the second stitch Insert the hook at the back loop only, crocheting a closed half double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook at the second stitch, back loop only, pull up a loop and pull the loop through the last two loops you had on the hook. Keep crocheting closed half double crochet on back loop only until you have 47 stitches. Once you have crocheted 47 closed half double crochet, then crochet the last 12 stitches with slip stitch. Do not forget to work on the back loop only as shown.
so keep crocheting slip stitch to the end of the row being careful to the last stitch and find the back loop which is kind of hard to find sometimes You can see how the back and the front side look like once we have finished two rows. For the third row again one chain, turn your work and on this row first come the 12 slip stitches so we will skip the chain stitch and crochet slip stitch on the next stitch. Always back loop only. Continue crocheting till you have 12 slip stitches. The 12 slip stitches section will form the ribbing at the bottom of the bodice. Once you have crocheted 12 slip stitches, change to close half double crochet back loop only until you have 47 closed half double crochet stitches in total. This is how your work will look like once you have finished row 2 and 3. Repeat row 2 and 3 12 more times and this is how one of the front panels will look like. In total you will have 13 ribbing. Make the other front panel repeating the same pattern as the one we just did. I also did the back panel using the same pattern of the front panel, but for the back panel I repeated row 2 and 3 27 times. I placed the two front panels on top of the back as shown, making sure that the ribbing of the front goes upwards and at the back downwards. Like this, when we sew the panels, we will have a continuation effect of the ribbing. With a tapestry needle and same yarn we will sew the panels. First the sides of front panel with back panel. Secure the yarn by going in on both panels at the bottom. Then find the V that the stitch form at the edges and insert the needle right in the center of the V. Pull the yarn and do the same on the other edge. Keep sewing the corresponding Vs on both edges. You will see that you have a seamless piece. Keep sewing until you have left enough opening for the sleeve. Secure the yarn and cut it. Now to sew the shoulder portion again secure the yarn at the beginning of the front and back panel.
Once the arm is secured, find the stitch before the V on the ribbing. It looks like a small seat and insert the needle through that small stitch. Then on the other edge try to sew through a stitch that will align the two ribbings on the front and the back side. Then on the front edge insert the needle through the V-stitch of the ribbing upwards. Then find the first corresponding ribbing on the back panel and insert the needle through the V-stitch of the ribbing downward. Then go back to the first V-stitch, insert the needle upwards through the V-stitch and the next small seed stitch in between the two ribbings. Pull the yarn and now insert the needle on the back panel, small seed stitch downwards and pull. Then go to the front panel and insert the needle through the small seed stitch and the next V-stitch and pull. From now on, just repeat the same actions we did until now. Insert the needle on the back panel V-stitch downwards and pull. Go to the front panel and insert the needle through the V-stitch and the coming small seed stitch and pull. Then insert the needle on the back panel seat stitch backwards and pull. Keep sewing until all the front panel is sewed to the back panel and also you are going to make sure that all the ribbing in the front panel uh, are sewed to the continuation ribbing on the back panel. So the ribbing will have a continuation from the front in the back. This is how the shoulder looks like once all the sewing is done and also you can see also the side sewing which is a seamless sewing. Now let's sew the sleeve. First place the sleeve to make sure that the opening on the bodice fits the sleeve. You can attach the point on the top shoulder with the point on the sleeve where the sleeve is divided by two perfect halves. Like this, you know exactly where the first half of the sleeve should be sewed to the front panel and which to the back panel. I started sewing from underarm. Fix the yarn if you haven't left any to the sleeve. Then I started sewing with a simple sewing stitch, the sleeve edge with the front panel. As you see, I didn't use any specific counting, I just sewed them, <clears throat> making sure that there isn't any ruffling and the sleeve sits nice and plain through the front panel. Once one side is sewed, continue sewing the back panel to the other half of the sleeve. This is how the sleeve looks like once I sewed to the bodice. Do the same with the other panel and sleeve. This is how the cardigan looks like once all the pieces are sewn together. Now for a nice touch I will crochet with a slip stitch back loop all the edge from right front panel, back panel, left front panel and back. This will give to the cardigan a more polished look. With the same yarn and hook, start by finding the back loop of the first stitch. 
Fix the yarn at the back by keeping it with your fingers at the beginning and pull a loop. Then insert the hook on the next stitch back loop and slip stitch again. Keep crocheting slip stitch on the back loop till you arrive at the end of the front panel. To make the transition to the back neck area, simply insert the hook at the edge of the first visible stitch of the back panel and slip stitch. Keep crocheting slip stitch on each ribbing and in between the two ribbings. Keep checking that you don't crochet too many slip stitches or too less. Once I transitioned to the other front panel, I worked the slip stitch on top of the first row since that is the chain row where we started the front panel and has no back loops. Keep working to the end of the front panel. This is how the edge looks like at the end of the first slip stitch row. Now we go back by crocheting one chain, turn your work and be careful to find the back loops of the slip stitch row that you just crocheted, as shown. Skip the chain and insert the hook at the back loop of the first stitch and slip stitch. Keep crocheting slip stitches at the back loop all around to the end of the other front panel. This is how the border looks like once I finished two rows with slip stitch. You can keep crocheting as many slip stitch rows as you want to. But I crocheted four rows. And here is the result. So, how does it look?